Alright, what is up y'all? Today we are here with week 4 of the HBA, the Havoc Battle Association, uh, run by our buddy Evader, who we actually play next week, so that's cool. But um, this week we go against Kip Up, and um, I don't like his team. I never like his teams, man. He always has fucking terrible teams to have to build for. It is Mega Altaria, Slowbro, Victini, Bisharp, Breloom, Gliscor, Snorlax, Crobat, Hoopa Confine, and Spinarak. Lol, Spinarak. Um... <laughs> Uh, just looking at my matchup versus him, uh, Still Steela has a hard time breaking through him because he has a Snorlax. Heavy Slam does like 19 to Snorlax. That is a heavy boy. We thought we were heavy boys. That is the heavy, the second heaviest boy in the game right there, fucking apparently. And uh, I think in that weight range, that's whenever like Atomizes actually start uh, like actually taking away damage from stuff. Because I think it's like if you weigh more than like a thousand kilograms more than the other Pokemon, it still does 120. But since Snorlax is so fucking heavy, I think it actually lowers after I fucking atomize up. But we got some stuff for that. Uh, Slowbro is annoying as hell, so we have to bring Thundee, basically. And uh, yeah, we got some we got some wacky coverage on stuff. So looking at his team, first of all, I was like, yeah, I'm bringing fucking Primeape immediately. We're slapping an E belt on that guy. We're gonna give him max speed just in case he wants to run like an offensive uh, Gliscor or something like that, which he totally could do. I've seen him run. Uh, swords dance on it on, on, on the regs, so we gotta be ready for something like that as unexpected as it might be. And then uh, this guy actually puts in work versus his team, man. It hits like everything on the team super effectively, I think. Um, yeah, literally everything on the team except for, except for, oh sorry, my bad. Everything except for Spinarak is hit super effectively. That's on me, that's my bad. Um, but yeah, Infern, I mean, <laughs> Infern Ape, 2, 3, 5, 7 Ape, the better Ape, is uh, it's looking really good versus him, man. I really like it, and honestly, I fucking love Primeape. Like in the, like, especially in this game, for what he brings to the table as far as drafts go, it's not looking at his stats. It's not the greatest, but um, just having Defiant and having all these coverage moves and still being able to Oko a bunch of shit on his team is awesome. So shout out to shout out to Primeape for not sucking as hard as I thought it was gonna. <laughs> then we have a choice Scarf Dog trio, uh, bringing it two weeks in a row, hoping it still works. Um, Basically, I need to be able to check Victini. Uh, the Celesteela set I have is uh, walled by Victini, so I need to make sure at the end of the day that I that if it's not Scarf, that I at least get like 60 to 70 percent of chip off on it. So if I can get up rocks and then you know hit it with a U-turn or something, that'd be clean. But uh, Scarf Victini, I believe, outspeeds. Uh, Selly, so like I have no way I can outspeed that if I recall correctly. I know that's how it was with Infernape, and I'm assuming that's how it is with uh, this guy as well. But basically, I gotta trap, I gotta trap fucking Victini. So even if he is Shuka, then at least he won't be Scarf, and at least I can still auto up on it and then hit it with an attack once it's and once all is said and done. But this also is a pretty decent, not check, but it's a, at least a, a Revenger for Crobat because that thing is just too fucking fast. It outspeeds my entire team. I gotta run, uh, gotta run a Memento one here just because like. I feel like I'm not going to be clicking Stone Edge, like I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like Crobat does put in a solid amount of work versus this team, especially if it's like, I, I'm expecting like a mixed Fireum Z set with like Taunt, uh, Defog is nice as well, but I don't know if he'll be, I don't know if he'll have the move slots for it. I'm sure I'll tear you with Defog, so you can probably run it on that, but, uh, just cause Fireum Z hits fucking, uh, Alex Jones pretty damn hard, and that is one of his Z-Mons, I believe his Z-Mons are... Slowbro and uh, Crobat. I don't know why it doesn't say it on here, but um, yeah. So it's a it's a threat, man. It can like it can taunt me and prevent me from uh, from autonomizing up. It can outspeed my entire team and hurt things with Brave Birds. And then uh, yeah, it's just not looking fun because the one switching I have for it, Aldino, doesn't want to be taunted. So fucking rip. But uh, yeah, so if I have to, I can memento on it, and that way I should be able to auto up on it and take the. Uh, the fire MZ, but <laughs> it's a, it does a lot of damage, man, because we are offensive Celesteela once again. Speaking of Celesteela, also we've got Scarfrog's probably gonna have a hard time clicking it just because it's Duck Trio, but if I need to bring it in to sack it and then click rocks, I'll do that. But then we have our <laughs> Adamant with just enough speed for Crobat, Steelium Z, Celesteela here, Alex Jones with Autotomize, Heavy Slam, Superpower, Seed Bomb. So, uh, the Steelium Z is actually the only way I'm doing any fucking damage to Snorlax. Uh, Curselax is pretty fucking solid versus me. Um, it's solid versus everyone, but it's especially me. My fighting type is a fucking primate, so he's doing his best. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
I can hit Snorlax as well as Bisharp with the superpower, and uh, I obviously Oko Bisharp. And if he is at, uh, at plus one defense with the superpower, I do about 50. And then also at plus one, the Steelium Z does right under 50. So uh, <laughs> if I can somehow knock off his berry or something like that, or make him pop it without him recycling yet, then I can potentially, after rocks or after a little bit of chip, uh, two shot him with my Steel Z move plus the superpower. Now, superpower does have its downfalls as well. That means that stuff like Breloom's Mach Punch from like Life Orb, Adamant, Mach Punch from Breloom, when I'm at minus one defense, does like 50 fucking percent, man. It's so strong. Holy fuck. And then also, uh, obviously, you got the Sucker Punch from Bisharp, which you can just run something like Life Orb or Dread Plate or something like that and pretty much fuck up my whole team as well. Uh, I could see him running something along the lines of like like Brick Break on it as well to kind of break those screens if, if it does come. Either the Breloom or the Bisharp. I could, I could, I could see that. It <laughs> seems like something he would do. It's something That's something I would do, so I just feel like it's something he would do as well. But, Tail Steel is looking like a great win con in this game. Heavy Slam fucking just blows him away. Steelium Z is also good for the Gliscor. Uh, and Mega Altaria. <laughs> Mega Altaria is also very, very heavy, apparently. It's a fucking cloud made of, like, poof and jiffy puff or whatever the fuck that marshmallow shit's called. But, it uh, it's pretty heavy, so Heavy Slam does not do that much damage to it at all. But uh, yeah, I'm really liking Selly. Obviously, Seed Bomb is there for the slow bro, and I, for the solid half of the time I was running this team or building this team, I was I was grassy him because I was like, I can't fucking do anything to slow bro. But uh, I'm hoping I can chip it down with my electric and grass types. Speaking of which, we have another E Belt user. <laughs> uh, th okay, we have another, but not the last E Belt user. <laughs> um, Vegemite here, the Thunderous, which is it's pretty solid versus him. Also beats everything, but the uh, where is it? but the crowbat and crowbat obviously is not going to be doing very much to us with its uh, flying stab. It can hit us with poison moves, but meh, you know it's it's still a crowbat at the end of the day. Uh, Thunderbolt, HP ice, ice, what the fuck? Thunderbolt, HP ice, sludge wave, and nasty plot. It's his team very very nicely. This thing can potentially nasty plot up on a switch, and then just kind of break his team and force him to have to like get damage on me with something like crow bat and then that'll die and then have to come in and revenge me with priority of some some nature and originally i was just running four attacks but i really liked the the longevity of having nasty plot so that way if i need to outplay the sucker punch games i can i suck at fucking sucker punch games like i i lose 95 percent of all sucker punch games but like if i don't have it and i just lose 100 percent of the time i just i can't we, i can't you know i gotta at least have a chance <laughs> but thunderous is very solid versus him and with his only ground type being gliscor uh it's it, he built HP Ice does like 100% to like max, like defensive Gliscor. I think that was with a little bit of Spideff as well. But if it does come, I think it'll probably be like a solid mix. So like evenly half and half. So HP Ice won't kill, but two will. You know what I'm saying? Nasty Plot. After Nasty Plot, is, it will as well. Then we have our third Expert Belt user of this fucking game. Uh, Expert Belt, Iridosoclitus, the Technician, Roserade, with T-Spikes, Sludge Bomb, Hidden Power Ground, and Leaf Storm, it just fucking blows holes through this man's team, and uh, he doesn't have a grounded uh, poison type other than Spinarak, but like like I said again, I'm sorry if I don't consider Spinarak a Pokemon, like, I didn't, you know, Alex, or uh, fucking Infernape, fucking I said it again, Primeape hits everything super effectively except for the Spinarak, and, uh, yeah, this... He doesn't have a grounded type except grounded poison type except for the spin rack. So excuse me if I forget spin rack. But uh, T spikes is really fucking good to help me break stuff like Snorlax and Slowbro. Hell, even Victini and stuff like that is gonna be nice. If he's poison heal, Breloom, it's gonna suck. But I think it's worth it to get the fucking uh, the chip on everything else. Hell, even Mega Altaria if it comes in after it's already uh, Mega Ball, that'd be clean as hell. So. Uh, and T spikes in conjunction with Trapping Dug Trio and Celestila. Uh, should be able to do a solid amount of work to him. Uh, I just need help breaking through that fat shit, you know? And then, last but not least, we're finally bringing in Audino, <laughs> a little thicky here, with uh, Regenerator and the Eject button, just so I can come in and take... Like, I don't have switch-ins for this man's, team, this man's team. I really don't. This is the only thing. So, rather than having to switch into this and then, you know, do something stupid and make something else take a hit, we just got the Eject button, so that way I can just come in and come right back out and go into a threat, you know? Because I don't, I don't got time to play games. If I'm bringing one defensive mon, it's gonna have to, it's gonna have to do some work on the team, you know. Uh, encore is very, very useful because that way stuff can't set up on us. We can encore it into that forever. And uh, Curse Lax, 
especially Curse Lex, is going to have a hard time dealing with this because I can just uh, come in after he curses. I'll obviously I'll speed because he used curse. I'll encore him, and then I can knock off his berry and uh, toxic stall basically. <laughs> so uh, this should this should help out a lot. And I was going to try to run. I was I was building with Pat, and I needed to was kind of talking about needing to like evenly distribute the EVs so that any kind of Victini wouldn't be able to kill me, but if I don't go max max, v create is a 2 at KO after rocks, which is fucking terrible. Uh, from, not Scarf, but I think like Flame Plate or like Life Orb or something like that, like something, some small boosting item just fucking destroyed me and I was like, no, we can't be doing all that. So, we're just going to eject button, max physically defensive regenerator, and we're going to hope he's not fucking special Victini, so. Yeah, but that's going to be the team. Uh, I'm really, really confident in this team. Like, I really like it, honestly. Uh, I, I'm comfortable with it. I did a, I did a little test, like, versus myself, just to check the mechanics of some stuff, and, you know, kind of see the situations I was going to be in, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Thunderous put in a lot of work in the little test game that I did, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, for now, let's jump on into the battle. So, I am on the wrong side of the game, so we're going to put me over here. You can see he brought Victini, Bisharp, Mega Altaria, Hoopa, Breloom and Crobat. Now I was fully expecting, see I have, my notes are downstairs, but I think I was expecting something like Slowbro, Snorlax, Breloom, Crobat, Victini, and Altaria, but he opted for the Hoopa and the Bisharp over the, the two fat things, which is fucking fine with me, dude. Like if that's two less things I have to break through with Celesteela, that's fucking awesome. So looking at his team, Celesteela absolutely wrecks this man. I just gotta, I gotta play it correctly, and I gotta not fuck this up, and I can totally win here. Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling better now. Uh, playing through this usually useless tournament, uh, kind of I feel like it untilted me a little bit. So I was I was I was I was in the game. You know I was I was, I was here to play. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm just gonna lead right off with a motherfucking thunderous. I know it puts in a lot of work versus the team, and also he has no Gliscor, so I can volt around free, even though I don't have volt. I just have nasty blood. So fuck. So <laughs> right here, uh, a knockoff does a shitload, but I could have focus blast or superpower. So I, and like, it was one of those things where like, we're kind of both forced out, you know, <laughs> like, because if he's, if he's life orb, I think Sucker Punch kills me if he's adamant, because Thunderous defenses aren't the best, but I didn't, I didn't really know what to do. I figured if there's anything I wanted to take a knockoff, it was going to have to be Primeape. I really want to just click like Nasty Plot predicting the Sucker, but if he just hard knocked, and if he's like a Stealth Rock lead Bisharp, then I'm, I'm fucked. So I switch out into uh, into Primeape, and he switches out into Hoopa. So it looks like we both predicted each other, but I'm pretty sure we were both just like, what the fuck, I'm getting out of here. Because uh, Hoopa has really, really good Spadef, and fucking Primeape resists the dark move. So it's like, we made we made first and third level plays. You know, we skipped right over the second level right there, and just went right to the third level of play. So uh, I got Throat Chop. If this thing isn't Scarf, it just dies. And looking at his team, I think Victini is a much better Scarfer. Uh, also, Scarf Breloom. Look, when I looked at this team and then I looked at Breloom, I was like, actually, Scarf Breloom kind of fucks me up. Oops, uh, I didn't, I didn't like prep for that. But I was looking at it and I was like, I hope he's not fucking Scarf Breloom. But uh, so I, 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 I roll the dice and he is not Scarf. He is not uh, Sash and he is not Colber. So Throat Chop just dunks on that Hoopa and it goes down. <laughs> so he's in the Victini. Since he went into it so confidently, uh, after I just revealed to potentially be Scarf. You know, because if I have the balls to stay in versus a Hoopa, I might have been Scarf, you know. So, uh, he goes into Victini, and I was like, okay, well, it's safe to assume this thing is fucking Scarf. So, I'm going to switch right on out to Audino, expecting the uh, V-Create. He goes for sub. This man is fucking bluff god. This man is the... I made this exact same joke the last time I played Kippa, but this man is a master baiter. Baited so hard. Like, he just fucking... Yeah. Anyways, uh... I, I don't want to waste my eject button just yet, so I go back into Thundee on the Flame Charge, and this is a fucking problem, because if he gets one more Flame Charge boost, then I can't actually outspeed him with the Trio, and he's just going to sweep my entire team. <laughs> like, I would have to, like, I don't know, toxing him with Altino, and then just, like, switch around and hope for the best. But, he actually goes for the work up here, and I was like, oh, fuck. So he's got Sub, Workout, Flame Charge. This is a fucking stored power set. And, yep, and actually... I live and do a solid chunk with the Thunderbolt, but it's actually unfortunate because if he would have killed me, then I could have trapped him with the trio, and Sally would have been set to sweep the game. Although being locked into EQ, that does give him a free, uh, a free attack with a free Dragon Dance with the Altaria, a free attack with a uh, young, well, young Crobat over here, or shit, even a free SD with Breloom or something like that. So, uh, looking at it, it's kind of, it kind of goes both ways. At the time, I was like, oh shit, if 
if Thundy didn't didn't die, I mean, if Thundy died, I think I just lost the game. But then he flame torches again, and I was like, fuck. Now I think I do lose the game. But luckily, he, luckily, he revealed his only uh, his only attacking move that's super effective on me to be uh, flame charge, which I can eat with Celestila. And we're we're heavy as fuck, you know. So we uh we just we just we do that clean 24% with, uh, with Celestia there. So now he can go into Quadcopter, and uh, I was really curious why he went into this. You know, I was like, okay, he's got to be taunt. He's got to he's got to be trying to stop me from a totemizing up right now. And uh, yeah, so I was I was a little bit shooketh. And I go to a Dino to kind of scout intentions. He goes for the Heat Wave. I eject button out and I can go into Primate because since he's Air Slash and not Bra uh, since I'm assuming. Now, that, cause that, did, that did a lot of damage. That looks like he's fully specially invested. So, uh, an Air Slash doesn't kill me where a Brave Bird would. So, I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going to Primeape. I'm going to Ice Punch. I'm going to put him in because uh, Heavy Slam was a two shot, I believe, if he was offensive, but not a, it didn't Oko or anything, which is surprising. So, I actually got to get some chip on him. And then uh, we sat Golden Infernape here. So, Infernape killed the Hoopa. Celestila killed the Victini, and now he's got four mons left, I've got four mons left. I'm in with a little thicky here, and I do have the Healing Wish support on there, which I actually forgot to mention in the team builder, but you saw it. So, um, hoping he doesn't, still hoping he doesn't fucking have Taunt, I gotta try. And he actually goes for the Nasty Plot. So seeing the Nasty Plot, thank god he won't have Taunt, he'll probably have Nasty Plot 3 attacks. And now I can heal up with Celestila and go all the way up. You know, all the way up. So, we're, uh, we're, we're full health now, and... But he's plus two. Fire Emblem Z blows me away. So basically, I gotta sack my Doug Trio and then come back in and be able to eat the uh, plus two. I eat plus two Heat Wave, but I don't eat plus two Inferno Overdrive. So I have to fucking sack the Dougie. And he actually misses the Heat Wave. Now, that fucking sucks. Because I'm, I'm a Dougie. I'm pretty sure I died to that. I know I have, you know, not necessarily pitiful Spadef, but I have like. 9 HP, so I'm assuming I died to that, and, uh, yeah, but I did eat the Heat Wave at plus 2, and then I still took this guy out, so that was, that's always something to consider. I did die to, uh, to any form of priority after that, but, yeah. Also, one thing that was pretty fucking funny about this, I didn't even know this existed, I'll put it on the screen right now, uh, Kip Up did the, uh, the little thing, this, on the screen, where <laughs> it picks if you're gonna hit and win or miss and lose, and it picked miss and lose, <laughs> and he fucking missed, <laughs> Which was unfortunate, and I hate to see my boy getting hacks like that, because that might have just cost him the game. But, I mean, that's what it said. So, I can just memento on this, and now he's not doing dick to me. So, as long as he doesn't burn me, as I totemize up, I'm all gooch. See, neutral neutral did a lot. Fuck. So, I can totemize up. I just go over the heavy slam, we get our attack boost, and uh, Crobat goes down. He's going to go into Altaria. Now, uh, upon doing calcs, if he's like max HP with any kind of defensive anything uh like if he's just like max hp a little bit of like the, maybe even that extra like eight in defense and then like max special attack a flamethrower or a fire blast is gonna blow me away and he's gonna live a regular heavy slam if he doesn't mega evolve <laughs> so i have to throw off my fucking stelium z <laughs> and kill this goddamn altaria at plus one jesus christ so at least that thing goes down but we do have the superpower for this we're out of range of the sucker punch so that does go down now we're in range of Mach Punch, potentially, if he's like Life Orb or, you know, a strong boosting item, but he doesn't go for it. He might have actually been Scarf. I didn't actually ask him, but yeah, so that Heat Wave miss really fucking sucked, but then again, I am also a speedy and bulky Roserade. I outsped the, uh, the Bisharp, the fucking, this thing, God damn it, <laughs> the Breloom and the Altaria. I had super effective coverage for all of them, and I had, uh, e-belt so I think I still won but it does just suck you know it it yeah it's that's shitty but that fucking thing where it said miss and lose and I was like okay and I thought he was I thought he was just playing mind games so that's why I was like okay I'm definitely sacking the Dougie on this fucking Z move he's about to blow up on me on here and uh didn't end up having it he was Wakan and we went 2-0 Celestila got five kills in this game though which is fucking tight so Shoutouts to us, we finally, I think we learned how to Selly now, guys. I think we, I think I learned how to Selly. <laughs>
Oh man. But yeah, definitely check out Kip up. I really want to see his perspective of the battle and see what he was thinking every turn and shit, because there's a couple turns where we, like, that first turn where we both switched out. I want to know if he was predicting me or if he was, like, if he was shook too, you know? So, we'll see. But yeah, I'll leave his link in the description. Go ahead and check him out. Like, subscribe, do all that bullshit, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week versus Evader. Bye forever!